Welcome. Today we will work through a geometry challenge. Our goal is to find the area of this trapezoid using only its side lengths. Let's get started. The top base is 30 units, the bottom base is 55, and the slanted sides are 15 and 20. We are going to find the area. But since only the side lengths are given, we need to create the height ourselves. That's the key to unlocking the area. To find the height, we drop perpendiculars from the top base down to the bottom. These create two right triangles on the left and right sides. Let the height be h, the left horizontal segment be x, and the right horizontal segment by. Since the bottom base is 55 and the top is 30, then the remaining horizontal distance must be 25, which is the sum of x and y. And this is our first equation. Now look at the left triangle. Using the Pythagorean theorem, x squared plus h squared is equal to 15 to the power of 2, which equals 225. Similarly, the right triangle gives us y squared plus h squared equal 400. We subtract equation 3 from equation 2 to eliminate h squared, and this gives x squared minus y squared equal minus 175. We factor this as x plus y times x minus y, which is equal to minus 175. Since we already know that x plus y is 25, we substitute it in the equation, which gives us this, and if we divide both sides by 25, we get x minus y equals minus 7. Now we have two equations, this equation and x plus y equals 25. We can add the left side and right sides separately to get the x value as 9. If we plug the x value into equation 1 and subtracting 9 from both sides, we find the value of y as 16. Now, to find the h value, we substitute 9 for x in equation 2. We subtract 81 from both sides, then the value of h becomes 12. Now we have the values of x, y, and h to compute the trapezoid area. The area of the left triangle S1, which is the product of base times height divided by 2, becomes 54. And the area of the right triangle S2 becomes 96. And ultimately, the central area, which is rectangle, can be found by the product of 30 times h. So S3 for the rectangle is 360. And as a result, the trapezoid area is the sum of S1, S2, and S3. If we add them all together, we get the total area of the trapezoid as 510 square unit. If you would like more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching.